and welcome to your Affirmations presentation. This is brought to you by Andrew Newton Abbey Borough Council, funded through TBUC on behalf of the Executive Office Northern Ireland. My name is Valerie Crozier Nickel. Affirmations, what are they? They're what we tell ourselves. They're the story that's running in our head and they can be useful or not. If they're positive and help us feel better, they're useful. But if they're not, they're not. So what can we do and how can we change them? And what do they actually do for us? Well, if they're positive, they can uplift us, they can make us feel better, they can give us confidence, they can lower our stress levels and lower our blood pressure. But if they're not, they do the opposite. They make us feel bad. They make us feel nervous. They make us not want to go into strange places and meet new people. So how do we change that? We change the story. If you were listening to a record and you didn't like it, record, look, listen to me, how old am I? A song. <gasps> what would you do if you didn't like it? You might change the channel. You might pick a different song. You might stop it altogether. So why wouldn't you tell that with the story that you're telling yourself? You can. You're in charge of your thoughts. So positive affirmations are things like, I am healthy, I am strong, I am confident, I am loved. And negative ones are things that tell you, I'm not strong, I'm weak, I'm no good, I'm a failure. And can you even see the difference in my body language? When I'm telling you I'm strong and I'm healthy, I'm upright. And when I'm not, I'm not. And my shoulders come forward and I slump a wee bit and my hands go up to protect myself. So affirmations are really powerful. So what's the story that's running through your head? Are you telling yourself positive things or not so good things, maybe negative things? So how can we change this? How can we change the tune in your head or the song or the affirmations, the story you're telling yourself? It can feel clunky at first because going from oh, I'm not confident or I'm not enough or I'm not healthy to I'm healthy, I'm confident, I'm strong, can be a bit of a leap. So we can start by writing it down maybe five to ten times a day and just change the sentence slightly. So if it's I'm not confident and you want to be confident, you change it to I'm learning to be confident or I can be confident in the first instance, just so it feels more comfortable. And then in a couple of months time you can work on I am confident as your new affirmation and we write it out five to ten times in the morning and five to ten times at night because space timed repetition works. It breaks down the pattern in our brains and rebuilds the new pattern. You could draw. How about drawing what you would look like if you felt confident and healthy and capable and strong? How would that look? More importantly than how it looks or the writing is how it feels. So what is the feeling? What would be the feeling that you would gain if you felt healthy and strong and confident? Think about that feeling and try and feel it and try and let that feeling fill you up. Because if we don't attach emotion to the words, they're just words, you're just writing out lines and nobody wants to be doing that. So you have to attach the emotion to it. So what would be different in your life if you felt confident? or healthy or strong and feel the emotion of that? Would it be that you would be able to get on stage and be in the school play or give a speech or score the goal in football or go and meet new friends, go to a new youth club if you just had that little bit of confidence to go into a different place? Or exams, maybe it's the, the fact that exams make you feel. So one of the great affirmations there is, I know this information, I can do this. I have got this. And telling yourself that before you go into the exam can really help. But you've got to do it for a while before the exam, not just immediately before. Though there is something that can help immediately before. And it's called our power stance. So we fist with our thumbs on the outside. We open our legs. So we're in a broad stance and we put our fists on our hips. Shoulders back, head up and breathe. 
Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, any of the Avengers. Who can you think of that stands like this? And how powerful do they look? And how do they think that feels? Actually, do me a favour. Stand up now. In class. Come on. All of you. Up you get. Follow me. Fists. On your hips. Shoulders back. Wide stance. Head up. And breathe. How does that feel? I know it can seem silly and it probably feels silly in a classroom. Sit down. But actually, it really, really helps. And there are studies, scientific studies, that show we are flooded with testosterone when we take that stance. So if we're doing our affirmations at night and morning or drawing our pictures, whichever works better for you, doing our power stance, one of the other things you can do, I'm sure most of you have phones, and if not, you could borrow a parent's phone and put it on that, is do a voice recording of you saying your affirmation to yourself. And then you can play it to yourself all the time. As you're out for a walk, you can put it on your headphones and you have your own voice saying, I am confident, I am strong, I am healthy. And another thing you can do, which seems a little bit weird, but it works, is use your name. So particularly if you're doing the voice recording one, or even if you're saying it in your head, Valerie, I am strong. Change it to Valerie, you are strong. And the reason that that works is because we're used to people talking to us in the third person. We're used to our teachers or our parents or our friends calling us by our names. That's what our brain hears. So when even we say it to ourselves, we start to believe it and we start to feel it and we start to hear it better and stronger and it means more to us. It also removes it a little bit from us, particularly with the negative ones. When you start to say to them, you are not weak, you are not, and then you use the voice, it removes it a little bit so we feel less emotion with it. So if we were saying to ourselves, I'm not confident, and you change it to, Valerie, you're not confident, it feels different. It feels really, really different because it feels like I'm talking about a different person. Try these things, practice them. In your packs, your teacher will have places for you to write down your affirmations. What are the affirmations? What is, what is the song you want to be singing to yourself? Make it a good one. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.